perfect two game start as you could have imagined and, and just how comfortable do you guys feel right now? We feel real comfortable. Um, we just been putting a lot of time, a lot of preparation and really excited for the season. So we're just trying to show everybody what we're about and we're not having you reach our full peak yet, I think. Jalen, yeah, I don't know why I've never asked this before, but wh wh why do you wear zero? How long have you worn zero? And do you find it ironic that a guy who wears zero scores, you know, so many points? I started wearing zero in uh, junior college, and really it was just a, I guess, a new beginning thing. But after a while, I just I feel like zero people can guard me, honestly. So. Well, what, <laughs> what, what, what's your number used to be? It used to be number one because uh, in high school, I was number one all my life, but zero, I think, I like zero, you know, it fits me, everybody else like it. So, so why, why'd you wear one? One because, ah, one because I'm, I'm number one dude, you know what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> did, 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 I mean, you had 21 at, at halftime, were you thinking about if you were going to score 30 or 40 or? You know? No, I really wasn't thinking about that, I was just, just playing my game, playing within the system, just really trying to win, execute every everything we could. So I was just playing out with my teammates, and they were just feeding on me. So, I think Mike took you out with about five minutes to play. Did, were you wanting to score 30, or did that make any difference to you because you guys were playing so well? Or? I don't make no difference to me. I like to see the young guys play. I mean, we got, what, 29 games left. So let's see what 29 games brings. Yes. I was just going to say, Daryl, the, the confidence. I guess the short, the short question is how much fun is what's going on around out there right now through two games, and what's the confidence level like for both of you and, and as an entire team? Uh, it's a lot of fun, obviously, as you can tell. Um, got our young guys even playing good. This is our first, first couple games, fresh out of high school, so seeing them go out there and gel together with us, it's amazing. It's a great feeling to see that, uh, knowing we work so hard and we're so overlooked and we, we're just working and working harder every day. You mentioned, uh, you mentioned the young guys. Mike's been going to that lineup with four of the freshmen out there at the same time, and it seems like it's really provided a spark for you. What have you thought about how they've played together in that second unit so far? They're, they're a great bench. That's, that's an amazing bench right there. Um, the energy we bring at the beginning of the game, and then when we come out, the energy level goes up when they come in. So, you know, when you got a bench like that, it's hard to be beat. Daryl, you had a pretty good game, but I was wondering what, what you thought of J J J Jalen's game and, and the way he was filling it up. I, th I think the same thing you was thinking. He was on fire. I, <laughs> he wouldn't miss in the first half, so I was just going to him every time until he missed. Obviously, you know, he, he's going to miss. He's going to do something. And, but he was on fire. He, he had an amazing game, I thought. Jalen, I know it's a small sample size. You hit about 26% on threes, and I think now you're like four of – what, four or something. I know it's a lot better. I mean, do you feel like you're a lot better three-point shooter? And if so, what's, what's, what's the key to that? I want to hear I this. I told y'all that I was going to be a better shooter this year, and it was my goal. <laughs> so I, now I just really just, just, just time and putting the time in and working every day, shooting out the practice. And just the summer, it really helped out a whole lot too. So I think just doing that, it's really muscle memory. I'm trying to get like Steph Curry, but I don't like Steph. Wow. So I'm going to do like Dame Lillard, though. Um, number zero. There you go. How number about you, another number zero. How about you ask him who inspired him to work on his three-point jumper? Uh, Jalen, who inspires you to work on your three-point shot? What's his name? Uh, Jalen Barford, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> wow. Anything else for these guys? All right, thanks, guys. And if y'all don't get my man Johnny in here by next week, we're going to have a problem. Y'all got to put Jonathan Holmes in here. <laughs>